Remember me? I'd have to lose all the brain cells in my head before I forget something as fine as you. You know I stay pimping the pros. Let's get it. You know it's hard out here for a pimp When he trying to get this money for the rent For the Cadillacs and gas money spent We'll have a whole lot of bitches jumping shit Holding it down live from the 48205. Back in this thing for another episode of Pimping the Pros. And we are actually at episode number nine. So we're moving right along. Uh, getting ready to be in double digits in just a moment. So I'm glad that everyone who's tuned in and has been tuning in. Has been following this little journey. So hopefully you've enjoyed yourself. Don't forget also that uh, if you do want to have your work featured on Pimping the Pros. Which uh, airs every Tuesday and Thursday night. Uh, you can send your uh, you can send your work your recorded audio work to pimpin the pros at gmail.com that's p-i-m-p-i-n-t-h-e-p-r-o-s-e at gmail.com that's pimpin the pros.com um so yeah we're excited about getting this episode out the way and uh the one i have today is actually a piece that i've I've written a a couple years ago and just to give you a little backstory on how how this even came about without mentioning too many names because obviously i don't want to get nobody in trouble but <laughs> it was a it was an og in my hood a long time ago i was like a, i was like a teenager uh me and my buddy and we were uh we were hanging out at the house and like we had came up with this grand scheme that you know we, we wanted to sell dope for a living you know so um childhood dreams um <laughs> definitely shouldn't have been dreams but it was something we was talking about and uh, the OG came through and hollered at us, and he was kind of, at that point, he was in the game already. And, uh, you know, selling dope and making money, and, and it looked good to us, and we really kind of wanted to get down. But then, like, the OG sat down with us and, and like, really just schooled us to, like, the, the ills of the game and why it really wasn't something that we needed to even be entertaining. And I think that's what's missing, like, today, today's generation of OGs, man, it's like, they almost encouraging these little kids to get out here and do knucklehead shit. And I think back in the day, our OGs kind of try to keep us out of trouble. So I go back to that conversation that I had, you know, as a teenager uh, with me and the homie and the, and the OG in the hood. And uh, I go back to that. And I just started thinking about some of the, the wrong decisions I could have made to, you know, make that kind of that, that childhood and my whole life just something completely different. So when I go back to that point in my mind, I came up with these words. And uh, it's just a kind of recollection of that that actual conversation and just kind of what was going on in the hood at that time. So uh, right after the commercial break, we're going to get to the featured piece, Trapped in a Trap. Y'all, it's your man, King Crooked. You already know. You see this in my hand? These are the plugs, you know what I mean? Some of the finest quality earplugs that you can purchase. You can go and get them at gettheplugs.com. Gettheplugs.com. Don't run off on the plugs like flies, you know what I'm saying? Go get the plugs at gettheplugs.com, all right? Peace. Trapped in the trap. No way out, several ways in. Doubt and fear leave souls destined to be destroyed in search of notes left by presidents, serving no precedence or prevalence in grand scheme of things, grand schemes and things. Ruin neighborhoods, consume families, make prison pockets obese. Cemeteries run out of plots, placing price tags on toe tags, tiptoeing through the tulips no longer. 
lights dimmed in the dining room sorry we're closed sign flip like birds to the world that created them pushing the promise of prosperity never truly prospering maybe this is what it is what it was what it will always be no voice shedding light where darkness has invaded staging a coup in the corrupted government inside brains washed by media circumstance relentless beckoning from the streets starving to devour the aimless feeding on the greed of unknowing vessels equipped with batteries lodged in backs as they are no longer in control just being controlled that's that piece y'all so yeah i'm uh only gonna talk about a couple of lines in there that kind of uh you know signifies what this whole thing is about and if you want to go back to maybe like in the the middle of the piece uh, where it says uh let's see actually it's a few lines i just read all those together so it's uh in search of notes left by presidents serving no precedence or prevalence in the grand scheme of things grand schemes and things ruin neighborhoods consume families making prison pockets obese See, those lines right there, those lines right there are kind of, to me, <laughs> it summarizes America, right? Especially black America, um, where you talk about in search of notes left by presidents. Obviously, we're talking about, um, I'm talking about money at that point. Um, but we, we're talking about the things that you do for money, and then you realize that the money actually has no prevalence in your actual situation. Because at the end of the day, you know that to survive in America... Um, it's more important about having power than it is money. A lot of times you have to have money to get that power. Um, but still, it's kind of like in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's really minute. So then right in the next line, it says grand schemes and things. So that's just like what's going on in the hood right now. Like people scamming, uh, like people selling dope to like family members. Like these are like those grand schemes and things are the things that are ruining neighborhoods, consuming families. And uh, making prison pockets obese. So, yeah, that's a. Uh, this is my joint though, and it really kind of personifies Black America or life in Black America. I think, from my eyes, anyway. So, I hope uh, hopefully that you uh, enjoyed that. So, I'm kind of excited about that one. Um, so, you know, if you're listening right now, make sure you leave your comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. And also, don't forget if you want to have your work featured on Tuesday or Thursday show. Just send your recorded audio file to pimpin the pros at gmail.com. That's P I M P I N T H E P R O S E at gmail.com. And uh we'll see you on Thursday for episode number 10. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right there on eblockradio.com so you can get alerted every time we go live. And speaking of live We'll be uh, live in the morning with the Wake and Bake Show, the Straight from the E Block Radio Show, with me, Monk Money, and Angry Man at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, streaming live at eblockradio.com. So be sure to tune in. Till the next time, though, you already know what it is Pimping the Pros. And I'm your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Peace out, y'all.